With your repeater frequency configured and programmed, now it's best to save it as a memory channel so that you don't lose it. So I've got my frequency showing and the first step I want to do is save this as a memory channel which is menu item 27. Menu. Memory channel. Scroll up to an available channel. I'm going to choose channel two. Confirm with menu. Receiving memory. If you listen carefully, it says receiving memory. That means it saved channel two, the receiving frequency, the frequency you need to have to listen to the repeater. Now we need to reverse that frequency to the transmit frequency. And that's done with this key here, the scan key with the asterisk. It says scan in light blue writing, but it's the asterisk. Tap that. And you see that the top line frequency has now changed. It's now 0 0.600 more than the receiving frequency. Now it's 147.780 because that's the frequency needed to transmit to the repeater. Now we'll save this transmit frequency to that same channel too. Saving memory channels is menu item number 27. So. Menu. Menu. 27. Menu. Memory channel. Scroll up to channel 2 and tap menu. Transmitting memory. Did you hear it say transmitting memory? That means now channel 2 has two frequencies saved to it. The receiving frequency and the transmitting frequency. Now we need to remember to reverse this back to the regular receiving frequency. So tap scan again. And now it's back to the regular receiving memory, the, the receiving frequency, the frequency you need to listen to the repeater. If at any time you need to see what that transmit frequency is for that repeater, tap scan to reverse the frequency. That's the transmit frequency.